It's not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Prescott on first down. Flushed out right. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second and nine to start things out. They just get the playoff. Now Prescott. Forced out to his left. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards and a first. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. First down, Prescott escaping the pressure right. And he whips that one incomplete there. Amari Cooper, the intended target, and it's second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here we go, 46. Prescott off play action. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. A big play here for Dallas. And even 50 yards. Smith trying to run for it. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there, now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in, and now they can... And he'll get in! Touchdown, Cowboys! A great play there, taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. Mm -hmm. 
So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. Detroit! So that Detroit! didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Drops it off for Chubb. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! To throw Mayfield. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Detroit, It'll be a gain Detroit. of six, and that'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Go, Get your go, best go, players go, into go. space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing go, it out go, to your runner, go, get him out go. in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss it open field. Mayfield with it once more. Steps away, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Johnson, the intended target. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And this is a rocket pulled in by Cooper, complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of six there on first. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Prescott to throw it. Looking middle, and that's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. On second down, Elliott. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Hey, go down, go down. 
Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And a loss of three to bring up four. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Gone, 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 gone. Hot. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Over the middle, complete. That's Higgins. And taking it across Number. midfield Number. and inside the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. A first down throw for Mayfield. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. They start on the ground with Elliott. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. We got three, we got three. We got three. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Detroit! Detroit! Second down, Mayfield. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Mayfield to throw it, being chased out left. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Buying time to his left. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 
All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. all they needed to keep the drive going. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Field to throw it this time. On the catch, it's Duke Johnson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Call it again is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Detroit! Detroit! On first and ten, Mayfield dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it a second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. zone now Mayfield dancing to his left and it's caught and he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown with Shard Higgins a 14-yard touchdown and the Browns are able to cash in for six point after right down the middle and the lead is now 14 to 10 Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after it. And it's a fumble. And I think the Browns got it. They did. And partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been in a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, and that's it.
situation you don't see guys really working on it maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well <laughs> and make that a better play so from the 36 now first and 10 Mayfield now after the fumble recovery. Forced out, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the gun, Mayfield completes this to Callaway over on the right side. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher for guys trying to get to the football. The Browns on third down. Detroit! They've been okay, Detroit! two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Mayfield. And this is going to be incomplete. Anthony Brown right there to knock it away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So now the Browns will turn it over to their field goal unit here. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Throwing, Prescott. Steps away to his left. And that one not to be, it's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. A second down throw for Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third down. Prescott now. And that's caught by Beasley. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A Dallas first down. Prescott hooking up with Beasley. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And an alley to run. And some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A second down throw for Prescott. And that's Elliott, complete. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott wide open. Amari Cooper. 
A really nice gain of 25 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Here we go, 46, 46. A first down throw for Prescott. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Prescott, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Prescott from the gun. Flush to his right. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 16. They start on the ground with Dick Chubb. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll get only a couple up 
to the 22. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. They go play action. Mayfield flushed out right. He's got a man complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A big play there on third down for the Browns. 47 yards. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Blue lining. Blue lining. The first down carry here for Johnson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. to the ground this time it's Chubb and he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18 two yards on the carry there it'll be second down able to stay in bounds so the clock keeps rolling and this defense right now backed up in the red zone another touchdown it's over they've got to stand tall quickly been in this spot before now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there hold him up Second, third guy in, rake it the football, get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. No, 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 Jack, Patriot, Patriot! On second down, Johnson. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. The Browns on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Again, this is Chubb. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line, linebackers really work well together. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Mayfield to throw for it on fourth. Well, Charles, exciting to the very end. That's what we just saw in this game. Final play there, had it in the red zone, but anytime you're outside of the 10, that's tough. 
try to draw up a final play to get in, and they couldn't do it. It certainly is. So what they were looking for was, you know, extra time. Too bad it's not FIFA soccer, right, where you get a little bit of extra and you get a chance to run them a couple more plays and maybe get closer and take that last shot into the end zone. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Good night, everybody.
It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Gets fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. to the 26. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Intercepted. Picked by Nick Kwiatkowski. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out on the field. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They begin with Michelle on the ground. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. 
but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. On the ground, this is Michelle, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. The former Giant, Prince of Mukamara, on the stop. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Red, red, up. Up. Red, move, move, move. Red. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Red, red, up. Get up. 180. 18, 18. 18, 18. Red. Again on second and 10, it's Trubisky. Completion left side to Miller. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. First and 10 right at the 20. Red, red, up. 18, 18. Move, move. Cut. Again, it's Trubisky. Being chased out left. And avoids the contact by sliding. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. He will push his way down to about the 14. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. 
They'll start the drive with a give to White. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. To throw is Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And they'll have great field position here as the ball will be at the 15-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice gain. First and goal, Howard. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Well, so many times we look at a short run. And, we... and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Jordan Howard taking it in. And the Bears will extend their lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Parkey adds the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script, I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Oh. 20. Brady will try again on second down. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Brady 
Brady now on first down. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. He got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. A good pick up there, a 22. On first down, Brady. Escaping the pressure right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Khalil oh. Mack in there to sack him for a loss of six. Let's go, let's go. Now Brady throwing on second down, eluding the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Kyle Fuller there defensively. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts and still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 16. 